Hey, what's up everybody? This is Clayton Gonsalves with Go Analytics, and today we're talking about merging data sets in Power Query. So let's go. Hey, welcome to our YouTube channel. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit the subscribe button to stay up to date on all of our data visualization and data analysis videos. All right, so today we're talking about merging queries together inside of Power Query. This applies to both Power BI as well as Excel. And what we're talking about here is taking a data set here and a data set here and merging them together based on a key that we're going to identify in our data set. So enough talking, let's head on over to my laptop and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so here we are inside of Power Query and I've got a few queries here, uh, as you can see here in the left hand side. Uh, and the first one that I'm looking at here is a table of employees and it's got our employees and some uh, basic demographic information about them. And uh, the other query that I want to merge into this query is the employee current pay. So taking a look at this query here, we have just the employee ID and the pay rate. And I want to bring in the pay rate into my employees uh, query here. All right, so how do we do that? Well, I've got the employees query selected here. So right from the home tab, I can just go over to merge queries up here. And if I expand this down, we have a couple of different options here. We can choose merge queries, which would just merge the employee current pay into this query, or we can choose merge queries as new, which would create a brand new query for us to work with. In our case, I'm just gonna choose merge queries as a new query so we can keep the steps all nice and clean. When I click on that merge queries as a new query, it's gonna show me here our employees table and it kind of displays uh, a few rows just so that we can see exactly what we're looking at. And on the bottom here, you'll notice that there's no preview available. That's because we haven't selected the second table that we want to merge into this one. So if I expand this down, I can see all of my queries and I can choose our employee current pay. Now, the next thing I need to do is tell Power Query which column to use to merge these two queries. So in our case here, the one column that we have in common is the employee ID. So I'll select that here from our employees table. And as you can see, it gets grayed out once it's selected. And now I do the same thing for the employee current pay. The next thing we need to decide on is what kind of join we want to use for this merge. And this is where things get a, a little bit more complicated, but, uh, but it's not difficult. And Microsoft and, and the Power BI and Power Query team makes it really easy by actually telling us uh, in brackets here what we're looking at. So as you can see, we can expand this down and there are uh, six different options here. We have a left outer join, a right outer join, a full outer join, an inner join, a lefty, left anti join, and a right anti join. And in brackets, it kind of tells us what it is. But I like to visualize it, so um, you know I like to use this visual, which gives a, a better understanding here of what these joins uh, actually do. So taking a look uh, first here at the left outer join, it's basically just getting all of the rows from your first table and all of the matching rows from your second table. So anything that doesn't match gets dropped. So we do not bring that in. The outer join is the opposite of that, just on the second table. So we get everything from the second table and uh, the matching rows on the first table. But if, it, if there's no matches, then we drop those records. A full outer join gives us all of the rows. So it would include everything from table one and everything from table two. And it doesn't matter if it matches or not. So there's gonna be some intersection here, but there's also gonna be some that do not intersect. In that case, what's going to happen is for table one, 
any record that did not get matched with table two is going to be uh, given a null for the table two values. We also have an inner join, which as the name implies, just gives us the matching rows for both tables. A left anti join is everything from table one that did not get matched to table two. And then the opposite of that on the right anti join is everything from table two that did not get matched with table one. All right, so in our case here, the left outer join is the appropriate join kind because we want to do sort of a VLOOKUP here between the employees table and the employee current pay table where we're bringing in this pay rate into the employees table. If we look here at the bottom, Power Query lets us know that the selection has matched 290 of 290 rows. So that means that every single one of our employee IDs here found a match inside of the employee current pay table. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And that created our merge. As you can see here, it created a new query called merge one. So I'm just going to rename this in as employees with pay rate, just to give it a more descriptive name. And then there's just one last step that we need to do. If we scroll over to the right, we see that that merge brought in our employee current pay, but it brought it in as a table. And what we want is the actual column pay rate to show up here. So we need to expand this table. Expanding this table just requires us to click on the little left and right arrow over here. And then we can select which columns we want to choose. By default, it selects all of them. But because I already have the employee ID in my employees data set, I'm just going to unselect that and I'm going to only keep the pay rate. Over here at the bottom is there's this little message here with a checkbox that says use original column names as a prefix. So that means that if I left it checked in here, uh, our resulting column would be called employee current pay dot pay rate. Um, I don't really need that for this purpose, so I'm going to uncheck that. And also note up here that you can also do aggregations instead of just expanding this data out. Once I click OK, then we see our pay rate over here for all of our employees in this data set. So that's it. That's how you can merge queries in Power Query. Now remember, this applies to both Power BI and Excel, and the interface should be relatively similar when you're working through your project. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button, and we'll see you in the next video.